I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. You just can't take Jesus to a funeral. You don't know what'll happen. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on all major platforms, and donate. Link in the description. Your tax-deductible gift helps us continue to pass the faith to the next generation, continue to put the gospel in the ears of teenagers all over the world. Give today. The traditional gospel lesson for last Sunday was a widow at Nain, Luke 7, 11 and following. Soon after, he went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. And as he drew near to the gate of the town, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother. And she was a widow. And a considerable crowd from the town was with her. And so a widow who lost her husband, definition of widow, but also lost her son, her only son. Boy, does God have compassion on somebody who loses their only son. Seeing, when, when, when the Lord saw her, he had a compassion on her. He had, um, this is that Greek word, um, uh, splagnizomai, which, which uh, Pastor Harrison, President Harrison loves to talk about. It's like, he had a movement inside his, his, his chest. He had, he had rumbling inside of him. Um, and he said to her, don't weep. Well, that's not what you're supposed to say to a person at a funeral. Um, doesn't, hasn't he, hasn't Jesus read, uh, read Freud? Um, have a good weep. It might not help you, but it'll make you feel better. Telling somebody who's crying that they're not, not to weep. A widow, only son, and lost her, lost her only son. That's, that's, that, hmm. let's find out what happens. He came up and touched, uh, the, um, the coffin, the soros. Um, that's um, so it was like a, a cot that they were carrying him on. And the bearers stood still. So this is important because this is the key first to understanding what's going on here. Um, you don't touch a dead body in the ancient world. To touch a dead body in ancient Israel is to take on the, the death, the, un, the uncleanness of the dead body. And so what, what happens here is that everybody freezes because they don't know what to do. This is a um, cringe worthy moment. Um, and so they, they all sort of pause. They don't know what to do. He's gone and he's, and he's sort of breaking up the funeral by touching the dead body. And then, and then without hesitating as, as if he's the Lord of heaven and earth, he says, young man, I say to you, arise. Which is the same word from the, resurrect, stand up. Like Jesus walks up to him and is like, stand up, stand up for Jesus. The dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother, which is similar to Elijah and what Elijah did with um, the same situation, but Elijah like put himself on it, on the dead body and sort of but um, Jesus is the prophet, like Elijah. Jesus is the savior. Um, and everybody is sort of taken back by this. Fear sees them all. Well, of course, fear sees them all. Fear sees them all because dead people are supposed to say, dad, you're not supposed to touch a dead body. And then you have the whole business of telling the dead body to sit up and then he sat up. Jesus wrecked the funeral. Can't take him anywhere. And they said, God has visited his people. And the report about him spread throughout all the Judea and all the surrounding country. So, Jesus is the Lord of life. And he's also the Lord of death. He can say to the dead body, young man, I see to you arise. And the thing to remember about this and all funerals is that there will be one, so this is what the widow learned, 
The widow knew this. If she ever had to bury her, her boy again, she knew that there was one who would say to him, young man, I say to you, arise. And when the young man buried his mother, he knew that there was one that would say to her, young lady, I say to you, arise. And what you should take from this is that your loved ones who die in the faith, one day, God will say to them at the sound of the trumpet, the dead in Christ will rise first. Young man, young lady, I say to you, arise. Because Christ has taken on death and death died with him. And now he gives eternal life, beginning with the widow at Nain's kid and ending with you and me in our day raising from the dead in the waters of baptism and then the reality of that resurrection in baptism being made clear to us on the last day. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and I'm sleeping Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.